I'll say being a rookie in the first overall will be pressure because people will be like tweeting me when I lose. Then I finally come around on that 50-second pick and they call my name and I just got a rush of adrenaline. When my time comes, you know, I'm going to show off and do what I do best. Celtics Gaming selects their first ever female player, DJ Lay. Being the underdog and slowly rising to the top, you know, eventually, you know, the hard work pays off. I can't give up because I have a point and a statement to prove. With the first pick in this year's NBA 2K League draft, the Lakers Gaming Select are Shia Karimi. I'm just a really aggressive and defensive-minded player. With being the first overall, people expect you to do a, a lot with it. Mavs Gaming selects Ziggy Zaya from Washington, D.C. I really feel like I belong in this space. It makes me really proud knowing that, you know, I was drafted as the third woman ever in this league, and I'm able to inspire young women to just go for everything that they want. Charleston, South Carolina. This is my first time in Boston. I've never been to Boston before. The transition was actually easy because I already knew Colt. I met the rest of the team and they're really cool, down to earth, respectable men. Oh my gosh, look at this. Y'all gonna make me cry. <laughs> what in the world? Oh I think Boston is a beautiful city. Seafood here is obviously great. So we checking out the menu. Normally I get salmon but I'm gonna try something different. So I'm out here on my calamari. Bucky, what is this? Fish and chips. Fish and chips, Bucky got fish and chips. The overall experience is, is cool. I'm happy to be here and being the second woman drafted in the league. A lot of people didn't know who I was. Now they know who I am. I am the sixth man on the, currently right now on the team. As a rookie, my biggest challenge is, you know, sitting there while watching them play because I want to play. I know how to play this game, and it's the same thing. All you need is more reps. I'm sure there are other women who look up to me and they want to be a part of this organization. You know, the league's been here for four seasons and there's only been three women drafted into the NBA 2K League and I feel like a, there needs to be a change. There are a lot of women that can play this game and I'm going to always grind for the women, speak up for them, and hopefully we'll see, you know, where the 2K League goes from here. Today is a very, very, very special day. Today is my roommate's birthday. How does it feel to be 28 years old? It feel great, it feel good, you know. We got some scrims later today, you know, the grind don't stop y'all. We're gonna have a nice dinner later. Stay tuned. Best roommate ever. Big Colt, he really is, you know, he teaches a lot and he's very vocal and I love that about him. Hey, 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 MT, anytime I'm on your side, you pitch and let me play too, lay you watch the cuts. You watch all the cuts. Uh, man, I don't think people understand me. I love Lay. Uh, listen, me and Lay, we always be trolling around. And Lay is the best roommate, you know? Like, we, it don't even gotta be 2K all the time. You know, we can talk to each other about anything. But one thing I love about Lay is, you know, she, she loves to learn and she listens, you know? Like, that's a big part of the game. I feel like it helps our chemistry on the game big time. I am very vocal. I'm an air traffic controller. I have to be vocal. 
I see things differently. You always have to be visual and see the whole court, just like you have to see everything that's going on on the air traffic control screen. Same thing on the court. You separation, seeing the floor, communicating, and you know, being confident in what you do. The Celtics just dropped a tweet that Celtics Gaming's DJ Lay, the highest drafted woman in the league history, will make her debut against Nets GC tonight. DJ Lay, you're making your debut tonight. What does this moment mean to you to finally suit up in your first professional game while representing women in gaming? Getting ready to play my first game. I'm very excited. My family, friends, co-workers, everybody will be watching. So I'm very excited. And her moment is now. And they got it. And what a start as DJ Lay gets her first bucket. 92-70, final seconds. And DJ Lay starting to find the rhythm from the outside. And DJ Lay will use the backboard at the end of the quarter. And just like that, the Celtics with a quick 8 nothing run. DJ Lay will make the extra pass, and it works out. You know, every day you, you grow as a person in the league. Um, but I just ignore the noise, put in the work, and do what I do best, so. Crazy from Lakers gaming. We're doing our check-in right now, hour before game day. All of us are in here getting our shots up, getting ready for the game. Uh, just can't wait to play. The experience is great. I'm living in a whole new city. I'm playing a game I've been playing for years, one of my favorite games. I get to do what I want for a living and get paid. So it's just a great experience overall, and I hope I can just keep doing it. I'm originally from Dallas, Texas, but for this year I moved to Los Angeles. I love the city, it's beautiful, the weather's great. You see a lot of famous people and everything, meet new people from coming out here. I made me realize I have to start doing stuff on my own. I learned how to cook and just not to rely on people. I was drafted the number one overall pick of the season four draft. The only thing I'll say with being the first overall, people expect you to do a, a lot with it. Try to get to the team, like the team on that as good as last year, and they expect you to make it one of the best. And that's what I'm trying to do this year. I just try to play my best and win and with my team. Seventy-seven to forty-two, Scott. This is a blowout of epic proportions. I don't even think you need to watch this game on Command Center. It's over. Season kind of it wasn't a rough patch. The first couple of games we got our first first couple of wins a couple uh, last week, and it, it's just time to go up from now. Wadi gets it into Reg. Three seconds now. They go to Plondo and it's blocked. And the Lakers win the ball game. The game-winning block was really a great experience. We all got hyped. I blocked him for game and we just got really excited to get our second win of the season. Team morale is all good. We are all friends and everything. Getting my shots up right before the game. Bob being my coach. My boy Reese, partner in crime. I bond with my teammates just like them being my friends. Go out, watch the basketball game when it's on. Just go out and eat, have fun doing things. My two roommates are Bobby and Reese. We're back to get some buckets. My boy Bobby, okay. Bobby, bucket for me. Crazy, obviously coming in, you know, a lot of high expectations for him, being the number one pick. And obviously, you know, he's a great player, talented player. Um, he's been known in the 2K community for years. Um, for him, you know, he's really uh, talented and he's also very smart, you know. So I think we're at our best when, you know, he's being a leader, talking and calling stuff out because he knows the game well whether it's, you know, different things in the game that I've learned just by him, you know, bringing it up random little things. So um, for him, he's been great. I think he's gotten to the league well. Um, obviously, it's probably his first time, you know, away from home and stuff like that. And everyone's still dealing with COVID. It can be tough, but I think he's handling it well. And um, obviously, he's going to be great in this league for a long time. 
I'm heading to practice. Practice starts in about 10 minutes, but luckily my facility is like right across the street from where I live. So let's get going. I have a lot of vets on my team. Pretty much everyone here has been here for two, three years. I would say that my rookie season so far is going really well. I have a really great group of people around me who aid me in feeling really comfortable here. And I really feel like I belong in this space. I grew up in Maryland and I moved all over the place, but I've never been to Dallas before this experience. But I love the food here and the people are really nice. What's up guys, this is Zaya again coming at you from the Mavs Gaming Practice Facility. As you can see, this is a little chill area. We have a TV, got a nice lounge set over here. During our scrims and during games as well, I'll probably be sitting like in between Dimes and Jen and watching over their shoulders. Um, certain things I pick up on just to improve my own game, but also I'll call out certain things for Dimes on offense, certain things on Jen if I know that he could take more catch and shoots, just little stuff like that I'll make pointers about. Being in the same space as Dimes alone, you know, number one overall pick. In the first ever draft, he's really like a big brother to me. We have a lot in common. He'll point out certain things to me um, as far as making reads. He just really opens my eyes to a lot of things on court as well as off the court. Zaya is amazing, man. I call her Ziggy most of the time. Um, great vibes. She's always trying to, you know, learn and put her input, you know, in, within the game from what she see, uh, you know, just from the sidelines. And it's kind of like having a third co coach on the team, just a different perspective and a different set of eyeballs. Uh, but she's amazing. Sick trying to hit with the screen. Dimes, ooh, what a ooh, shot. Ooh, moving ooh. and on. The Mavs are going to hold on. They're going to get the win. 67-64. Ball game. Ball game. Mavs are going to win. Who left that left corner open as he greens it to extend the lead to 12? We're really taking a step in the right direction and we're coming together more as a team. Very soon we're going to be forced to be reckoned with. So when I get back home, a lot of times I will start up a stream like this one. But I love you on rap. Yo, thank you so much, Abstract, for this up. I really appreciate you. I hope you're having a great day tonight. I love streaming. It allows me to connect with all of my um, supporters. It allows me to, you know, showcase my talent. And streaming gives me the platform to be able to show everybody who I am and converse with everybody on a personal level. I want to set an example for women in general that want to get into the gaming industry. We're faced with a lot of things that, you know, the other guys may not. Even if we play really well, it wouldn't really matter. I want to be able to set this example and be like, hey, like, it can get done. And I want every single woman that wants this to go for it. My confidence is through the roof. I'm used to it. Once again, being the first here, first born in the family, first air traffic controller in the family, the pressure continues. I'm used to it now. I am super thankful to the Mavericks organization for taking this chance on me. I honestly could not have picked a better org for my rookie season. There's just so many things that I have yet to explore here in the city. I'm super excited for the rest of the year. Uh, I stay focused by knowing there's 28 games in a season, and it's a long season. Anything can happen. A couple games can't define you as a team. So you just gotta learn from the mistakes. One player on our team that I'd probably say has taken me under their wing definitely would be Dimes. He helps me a lot on and off the court. I definitely feel like he's been here for me in a big way. Challenges I experienced season one. Um, <laughs> 
losing. Losing God was something that I had to learn, you know, how to do. And that, and that sounds kind of weird because there is a way to lose, you know, just grasping something, uh, taking away something from the loss, you know, so learning from the loss. A player on the team that has taken me under their wing is my roommate Colt. He looks out for me, he makes sure I'm good. He always gives me a talk like, he's like, Lay, I know you're frustrated right now, but you know you gotta keep going, eventually your time's gonna come. It is big for me to try to help them coming in. I know how it is, you know, you know how the league works, you know how it's more than just a game, you know, this is a business. This is a profession. One player who really helped me out uh, in the league has been Bobby. Just everything with the computer or tech, tech, I learned it from him. The best advice I could give to rookies uh, coming into the 2K League was just not taking it for granted. Um, there's a lot of players that you know make it one year and then they're out the next year. Um, it might be tougher to get redrafted than to get drafted one time. So definitely don't take the league for granted.